Well, um, what's going on? So, um, you know, I was going through my Google Drive. Uh, this was the first song I ever wrote. Well, um, the first song I wrote that wasn't for a girl. Ahem, ahem. We don't need to talk about that incident. But, um, I found out Google has this new thing called Gemini, and I, I have to say, I'm, I'm somewhat impressed by it. Um, so, I, I, I'll, sh I'll show you guys the song. No, this is not my best work. This is far from my best work. And, um... I, I can ensure you <laughs> that this is not what this um probably won't be on my debut album. You know, when I wrote it, I thought it would be, but I mean, I've written so much better. So I, I'm just going to quickly play the song right here. Let me tell you about a girl I know. Her name is Eleanor Rowe. She liked to dance, but her parents said no. One chance she said, but her parents said go. Dance up, girl, get up. Get up, girl, and dance those feet. Get up, girl, get up. Get up, girl, and dance those feet. She left her home and walked across the tracks. Only having her runaway sack. Every day and every night She walked until she saw the city lights Get up girl, get up Get up girl and dance those feet Get up girl, get up Get up girl and dance those feet Get up girl, get up Get up girl and dance those feet yeah, so that was just a little short song I wrote a while ago. Yet, yeah, I can ensure you that I've written better. But I found out Gemini. I, I, once again, I was just going through all the songs that I've written in my Google Drive. And I opened this to see how long, how far I've gotten. And I found out about Gemini. So, um, yeah, I just started asking it a bunch of questions. And it's really good at not answering things it doesn't know. So for first, I said, rewrite the title to be more ca catchy. I'm going to tell you for a fact, I would never s name a song Dance, Eleanor Dance. You know, um, yeah, no, I wouldn't. Oh, also, one thing I'd like to say real quick. Um, let me tell you about a girl I know. Um, I, I will say that was definitely heavily influenced by Ray Charles, in case you know what Hallelujah I Never So is. But, yeah, so I, I was just asking questions about the song. What's the conflict in the song? Eleanor Rowe wants to dance, but her parents will bid her from doing so. Hmm, what's, what's the sort Dance, okay. What does Eleanor do after her parents say no? She leaves her home and walks across the tracks, if only her runaway sack. Yes, g g I'm glad I, I rhymed sack with track. Where does Eleanor go after she leaves her home? She walks until she saw the city lights. Yeah, I'd like to say, I, I'd like to mention, this This was just an ideal. I, I, I never ended up, I, I don't use this. That was, that was just a sketch or whatever. Why did Eleanor's parents say no to her dancing? The lyrics do not pr provide a reason for why. Um, that's because I couldn't think of a good reason. I don't know, maybe they're just not supportive. The main idea is Eleanor Rose's determination to dance despite her parents' approval, blah, 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 blah. The author encourages Eleanor to get up and dance those feet. You just said get up and dance, but you have to specify dance those feet. What are some of the challenges that Eleanor faces? The lyrics do not specify what challenges Eleanor Rose faces, aside from her parents forbidding her from dancing. You didn't have to cut me off. I kind of like it. What does Eleanor Rowe do after she leaves home? She walked until she saw the city, guys. 
Um, yeah, I wonder... Wait. Bro, they, they just stole my line. Copyright. Copyright infringement. <laughs> Funny either. Yeah, obviously. Did I just... Did I, I asked the same question. What is the name of the... Yeah. Um, I also couldn't... I, I, I did have an idea where I was going to include the place where she went, but I ended up not using it. What's the name of the song, Dance at Speed? Wow, I did not know. Um, it couldn't answer this. I added this little thing just so it could it, it would have information. So yeah, it, it didn't know what it didn't know what year it was. So then I just added I don't know if it was soft rock. Well, it is soft rock, but I don't know about pop. Yeah. It will be released in 2024. <laughs> yeah, so um I'm not going to name any of the songs that I did write that are probably going to be on it, but I'll name some songs that I'm probably going to cover because, you know, I'll probably have quite a few. So here's my um, just rough sketch of songs. Um, these are the songs I think I'm going to cover. Mon Pa, One and One is Two, Blank Space, I Me Mine, Cry Baby Cry, Give Me Some Truth. A tr I I'm going to do a tribute to Paul McCartney and just Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney and Wings, so there's gonna be, I'm just gonna do, like, a minute of Band on the Run and a minute of Silly Love Songs, like a version of Not Guilty. I think that's a very underrated song. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you don't need to know what songs I've written, but, oh my god, that's not even a song, why did I even include that on this list? So, yeah, I, I hope you liked my small little song that I wrote. I'm, I hope you like my update on my album. Yeah.